Lincoln, Lincoln Riley, an innocent young woman who was killed by an illegal. That's Whoa, Joe Biden going off script and just saying it like it is, not using the new PC word, illegal, sorry, <laughs> undocumented citizen, I believe they're trying to say now. Of course, it didn't take much time before the usual suspects, the vulnerable narcissists that love to complain online about all the things that they're victims of. We're talking about a, an innocent woman who was killed in this case by someone who shouldn't have been in the country in the first place. But what does she have to say here, this woman? Last night was the State of the Union address where President Biden addressed the entire nation. And if you didn't watch it, you clearly did yourself a favor, but we must talk about something that he said. President Biden went intentionally off script to go out of his way to dehumanize undocumented immigrants. Lincoln Riley, an innocent young woman who was killed by an illegal. That's right. But how many of thousands of people being killed by illegal? That's horrible. Using the term illegals as a way to correlate criminalization and murder, dehumanizing an entire population is just a tactic that he's using to go more right on immigration, succumbing to Donald Trump and the Republican MAGA agenda. <laughs> MAGA agenda is behind this. That's what this, this woman says. Uh, my stance on this, I'm actually pro-immigration. Believe it or not, my wife's an immigrant here in Canada where I live. Uh, my parents are immigrants. My my father from the United States. My mother from Scotland. This is a thing that people have done for a long time, immigrated to places, and this there's, there's a process to it. There is no such thing as an undocumented immigrant. Immigration is a process which requires documentation. If you don't follow the process, if you cross the border in any other way other than the legal method, overstay a visa, or ignore orders to depart. You are a criminal. You are there illegally. And this is exactly what he was telling the truth when he said illegal. And this is this is the reality of the situation. Even Greg Gutfeld on Fox News praising Joe Biden for not saying undocumented feeble but at least he said illegal there's a video i'll leave a link in the description down below you can go check that out but i just want to do a little quiz with everybody have a look at these images does this look like a official border crossing <laughs> into the united states does this uh perhaps look like an official border crossing into canada i no i don't really think so perhaps this picture here no no, no. this is a proper border crossing. If you're coming into the United States from Canada, this is what it would look like. If you're coming into the United States from Mexico, it would look like this, but a little better, we a little better weather, perhaps. This is the reality of the situation. But what people are doing is they're taking advantage of situations like in the United States with illegal border crossings, like you see here in Canada, there's this one, Roxham Road. Here's a picture of then and now, back when, before people really even knew about it. It's a road in New York State that goes right up to the border of the province of Quebec. That's correct. And because it became so popular, the government actually put in buildings there so that they can bring people over. They're calling it an an irregular crossing. They actually call it an irregular crossing. And instead of just putting CBSA agents, the Custom and Border Service agents, that would turn people away, they put in the RCMP, which welcome them in and say, you came in illegally. You're, here's a court date. See you later. Welcome into the country. And uh, of course, uh, as time goes by, they just disappear into all <laughs> into the rest of the country. Where are you going to find them? Uh, the best way to keep them out would be to, that's right, turn them away at the border as they try to cross in. But this is something, obviously, Joe Biden has been having a hard time with. Now, if you want to know the story about Lincoln Riley, uh, well, I'll leave, a I'll leave a link in the description down below. This is a video from Prager U talks about uh, exactly what went down. She was slain by an immigrant that had been in the United States for some time and was known to the police and had a rap sheet of his own and somehow still managed to stay in the country. Now, this is the scene at the uh, at the 
the uh, the State of the Union when uh, Bumble and Joe decided to go off script and say this as uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene was uh, advocating for uh, Miss Riley and her uh, her slaying. Lincoln, Lincoln Riley, an innocent young woman who was killed by an illegal. That's right. But how many of thousands of people being killed by legals? To her parents, I say, my heart goes out to you, having lost children myself. I understand. But look, if we change the dynamic at the border, people pay people, people pay these smugglers 8,000 bucks to get across the border because they know if they get by, if they get by and let into the country, it's six to eight years before they have a hearing. Six to eight years before they have a hearing. Yes, this is the reality of the situation. This is why they shouldn't be using irregular border crossings. They should be going to the regular border crossing that if they don't have any business coming into the country in the first place, will be turned away at. And of course, this is why they're crossing at irregular. <laughs> they're illegally crossing the border. It is unbelievable but this is the serious this is this is what's going on and it's worth the, taking the chance of the eight thousand dollars but but if it's only six months six weeks the idea is it's highly unlikely that people will pay that money and come all that way knowing that they'll be able to be kicked out quickly yeah, do you see that happening under Joe Biden? I don't know about that. Uh, we all know that uh, Donald Trump is advocating uh, just making making it so they can't get in the first place. That would be the best thing there. And yes, faster processing uh, and get them sending them on their merry way. Now, all these people are coming in at the U.S. border uh <laughs> and coming into the Canadian border, this is a massive, massive thing that's happening. In fact, there was even reports that uh, New York City was sending people up to Roxham Road uh, to get rid of them. To, we don't want you in, in New York City. Go to Canada. Go to Canada and, uh, you know, get on the system there and you'll be welcomed right in. But this is what's happening. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about all of this, uh, what what do you think would be the best way to stop people from coming in? And when they do come in, <laughs> shouldn't the police have the, uh, the, the ability to just hand them over to border services to say, hey, these people broke the law, get them out of here. Uh, they're not even citizens of this country. Anyway, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think, and we'll see you in the next one. Keep on trucking.